Next. Hi guys. Well, hey, we're back. We're gonna do another terminology video. Buzzer. Like word quiz thing. Yeah. Yeah. So you guys know what the heck we're talking about when we're talking about real estate. Or you can school someone and be like, oh, I know what that means. Yeah. Watch Melanie and Lisa. They told me about Gosh, it. You're so weird. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Word number one. Word number one. Escrow holdback. Okay. Oh. Uh, an escrow holdback is not seen very often anymore. It used to be oh, that yes. you could have, well, let's see. Let's take the example of the escrow we just closed. The seller wanted to give the buyer money as a credit for the roof. And it used to be you could put an invoice from a roofing contractor in escrow and they would hold funds there until the roofer was done with the roof, even if it had closed to escrow, and then they'd pay it out. So it'd be escrow holding funds yeah. after it closed. After it closed. We don't see that much anymore. Yeah, no. It's I've kind been of in it for two years and I haven't yeah, seen no. it at all. So. Not looked fun. But it it was something that was done. Because yeah. you can get out of the box thinking, but yeah. Next. Funds held after it after close of escrow. Yeah. All right. Um, next one is offer slash contract. Meh. Okay. So as a buyer, you <laughs> go in and find a house that you love, and we're going to sit down and write an offer, which is a contract once everyone signs it. Once everyone signs all the needed areas, then you're in contract. But an offer is you're offering the seller the terms and the price of what you're going to do to buy their house. Mm -hmm. And so as a seller, you're going to get receive offers and contracts and you, know, you get to pick one and be like, I want this person to buy my house because they came in with the best price or they didn't ask for much. They like the terms. Okay. Terms. Last word. Last word. <laughs> seller credit. I love seller credits. I love it. I love it. I love it. We're seeing them so much right now. I love these markets. So we're like, our market shifted. Everybody knows. And we're in what we consider a normal market, which we haven't seen in a long time. Especially since last year was nuts. Yes. And so what that enables us as real estate professionals to do is help our buyers perhaps get some help from the sellers in the form of a credit, which is money that the seller says, I'll give to you buyer for paying your closing costs or, you know, repairs and things like that. So it's just so it's the a buyer credit. doesn't have to come out of pocket a lot of money. But we're out of time. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for watching our videos. Please subscribe. Come back. There's videos every day, day for terminology. Bye. I'm Lisa.